Weekend Update with Sterling Cook and Jeff Sevillico. What's up, Jeff? Yo, yo. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Weekend Update. I'm Sterling Cook. And I'm Jeff Savillico. There's a hot debate in America this week between people who are interested in the health benefits of CBD and people who are uninterested in the health benefits of CBD. <laughs> or people who are wrong. You know, there are people who have literally 56 prescriptions for things that can be helped with daily use of CBD. 56. Uh, these aren't Skittles. These are pills. People shouldn't have 56 of anything. If you have 56 cats, you are not a responsible pet owner. <laughs> you are the kooky cat person. Agreed. And unlike your prescriptions, the government will actually come and take your cats away because everyone can agree that is excessive. I agree, Jeff. Now, I'm not saying that some medications are necessary and effective. I'm just saying that if you have 56 prescriptions duking it out in your body, it might be time to look for alternative solutions. Yeah, that's right, Sterling. Along those lines, why is it so hard to get a clear answer about the legality of hemp CBD? If it makes you feel better, legal. If it gets you high, not legal. Except Elmer's glue. Right. That's legal, but Best not advised. Stuff. At all. Mm. With so much misinformation out there, I think there should be like an app or maybe a hotline, you know, like 1-800-CBD-OKAY? <laughs> like, I live in Chattanooga County. Is CBD legal here? Yes, Mary, CBD is federally legal. Or, I saw grandma arrested at Disney World for having CBD. <laughs> Newsflash, Steve, grandma getting arrested, uh, not exactly ratings gold. You know what is ratings gold? CBD. I agree, Jeff. In other news, Green Compass is making its mark on the CBD industry. In fact, they just reported their first year stats. Mm. <laughs> yeah, which if you think about it is amazing because they aren't allowed to talk about medical claims, discredit other companies, post real testimonials, give dosing suggestions, or even say what CBD actually does in the body. Like, here's my impression of a Green Compass advocate answering a question about how CBD works. Google it? That seems to be the case, Jeff. But yes, check this out. They have over 25,000 customers in less than a year. Yeah, wow. Right? Right. The only thing I can think of with you know, like that kind of growth is rabbit populations during mating season. Uh, over 10 million in sales the first year which apparently is 10 times what the early projections were. It's crazy how this thing's caught on so quickly. Yeah. I'll say, you know, flossing and every other dance of the year since YouTube started haven't caught on that quickly. Can you floss, Jeff? <laughs> no. Just going off the prompter. Right, right. Well, the future of Green Compass looks bright. Here to comment on some exciting partnerships Green Compass has planned in 2020 is our very own resident nerd, Brooks Bailey. Hey Brooks, how you doing? Hey Brooks. Good to see you. I like your glasses. You look great. Thank you, Sterling. Hey, did you know that sterling silver is an alloy of silver containing... Yeah, all right, all right. That's, that's it. Could you just tell us what's going on with Green Compass, please? Okay, okay. Yes, for sure. So we have some very exciting news on the, on the science and technology front. Uh, we recently moved in to our new lab facility at UNCW's Crest Research Campus. And this is where all the magic is going to happen, uh, like math and chemistry. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. It's exciting. Right, I know. So we'll be working alongside brilliant professors and on various research projects that are going to help guide our product development going forward. We'll study methods and procedures that will keep Green Compass at the forefront of the industry. You're welcome, jocks. <laughs> So I can't forget to mention that we recently purchased a new supercritical CO2 extractor. Cool. Could you tell us a little bit about that, Brooks? <laughs> like you would even understand if I did. Uh, who's this guy? Another quick note, we've decided to expand our certificate of analysis panels to include terpenes, pesticides, heavy metals, and all other contaminants. We're going to have it all covered. I actually have one over here if you want to see it. Yeah, yeah, please. Let me take a look at that thing. I don't think we can fit that on a QR code, Brooks. You can have that one. Thanks, buddy. I'll take a look at it later. Just a few final points. Green Compass passed the U.S. Hemp Authority audit late last year. And as we all know, audits are pretty much organizational rectal exams. So we're all pretty happy that one's done. 
In closing, I just want to remind everyone that our hemp farms are all USDA organic certified. So you can be confident that the hemp in our fields is as clean as the beakers in our laboratories. Green Compass is clearly dedicated to bringing you the finest state-of-the-art products backed by science. And science is sexy. All right. Thanks, Brooks. <laughs> thank you, Sterling and Jeffrey. All right. Thank you, Bill Nye. We appreciate it. All right, speaking of innovation, Green Compass is expanding their product line with the use of essential oils. In true Green Compass form, they are committed to quality ingredients to help their customers get the best results. Here to share some of the benefits of this new addition is Girl Who Misinterprets Everything. Ladies and gentlemen. Hey. I know you're all excited about the essential oils, but honestly, I can get the oils at the gas and go for like a fraction of the price. You feel me, Captain? Yeah, you, uh, you can, but Green Compass Essential oils, oils are strategically sourced under direction of a clinically licensed aromatherapy consultant. Oh, yeah. I strategically sourced my moons over my hammy this morning. You know what I'm saying? I'm already regretting that. Wow. All right, well, anyway, what that means I, is... She has indigestion. That too. It means they source from real vetted farmers and only use the heirloom varieties which are not genetically modified. Oh yeah, I understand. Yeah. My cousin Janice got genetically modified to get her job at Hooters. That's the best decision she ever made. Not, 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 not exactly like that. The, the point is they just make sure that every resource and vendor they use is aligned with their core values, organic practices, things like that. Oh yeah, but how do we know? Like sustainably caught fish. I mean, I know because I eat sushi. It's all caught in the ocean. And nothing like farm fish swimming in their own poop. It, it's a word of mouth business that's literally gathering national attention. Pretty excited for Green Compass. Oh no, I totally get it. I got mouth to mouth once. <laughs> Fell asleep at the Jersey Shore. Some big muscly dude walked by and kicked me right in the head. Knocked me clean out. But you know, thankfully the lifeguard was hot, so I was cool with it. Let's just say I got his number. All right, look, not, not like that. We're talking about CBD oil. Oh, oh, yeah, okay, okay. I remember my roommate getting that. And then she went and got like 45 Taco Supremes. No, I, I think you're thinking of THC. THC? Like the rapper? No, 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 hemp CBD. You know what Green Compass does? It's the company that's sponsoring the weekend update today. Weekend? Well, this is the weekend, then why you dressed up like a funeral director? No. <laughs> No, no, Green Compass, the company Sterling and Meredith founded. You know, they pour their blood, sweat, and tears in the product and box them themselves to customers. Okay, now that is disgusting. Blood, sweat, and tears in a box? And you charge people for that? Oh, boy. No, I mean they did everything they could possibly do to get a successful company going. Even their kids were helping package and send product from the company's inception. Okay. That's got to be against some child labor laws. And oh CBD boy. out of your home? What is this, Breaking Bad? Okay. I think we've gotten way off course here, like when you shipped our products to an Air Force base. Who told you about that? Oh, that can't Oops. be good. All right, you really do misinterpret everything, don't you? Let's just say this. Green Compass is committed to being a quality brand and delivering new innovation and proprietary products that are changing lives every day. Sterling, please stop. No, no, I totally agree. My Uncle Vinny's life got changed. Well, he had to innovate a whole new life, if you know what I'm saying. Now he's committed to raising chickens and living off the grid. I really miss that wise guy. All right, thank you, girl who misinterprets everything, ladies and gentlemen. All right, All right and back to the news. Green Compass announced at their Level Up conference this week that they are doing a complete overhaul of their website. Apparently being able to easily navigate the shopping experience is important. But Jeff, if, if customers don't have to call customer service with problems, does that mean that someone is going to lose their job at home office? Where's the uh, job security in that? No, no, Sterling. So they're also going to be hiring more home office staff. But oh. with an easier and more value-added web experience, the customer service reps can focus now on other things. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Yeah. Whew. As Green Compass looks to the future in 2020, it's important to see where they've come. Here is the year in review segment, or as I like to call it, the boom segment. All right, Jeff, here we go. Over 100,000 orders shipped. Boom! 
Over 6,500 advocates in the Green Compass family. Boom! Over 25,000 customers loving our products. Boom! $20,000 donated to Child Fund International. Double boom! Over $10 million in sales. Can I get up? Boom! Over 350 regional events held. Kaboom! Over 100 million milligrams of CBD produced. Oh, boom. <laughs> Featured in seven publications. Press boom! USDA certified organic and US hemp authority seal. Signed, sealed, and delivered, and boom! There you go. As you can see, Green Compass is excited for what happened in 2019 and excited for what's going to happen in 2020. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in to Weekend Update. I'm Sterling Cook. I'm Jeff Savillico. And boom! boom. Good night. Good night.